Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to make a simple Python program that can calculate the common difference of arithmetic and geometric sequences. So let's begin. So we will first be looking at the input. If you want to know more about input, you can go to the last video. So we will be making a variable called type, type equals to input. And then you need to put double colons and say AS or GS. So this just takes the input and asks us, oh, whoops, put O instead of P. Yes, type equals to input. Now it asks us, as you can see, so arithmetic sequence or geometric sequence. Now, next up, what we have to do is we have to now make a conditional. So, we'll say if to make, we have to use a hash. Hash is like commenting in Python. So, let's say conditional. These are like the name. It has a condition if uh, something is equal to as if type type equal to equal to as now equal to equal to is written so that you don't uh, so that python can recognize whether it's comparing things or it's just telling that this is equal to it's specifying thing so equal to equal to is for making sure that its comparison is there so if type equals to as let's make that as then so like if we type as oh let's see what happens here Okay, so this is because there's nothing inside the conditional. Let's first make a variable inside here. T1 equals to float input. So right now we're doing type casting. Type casting is when you change a one type of form to another. Float is a kind of form which can take decimal values. However, int can only take a whole value so let's write that down int takes values takes whole values like 10 and float takes decimal or whole values then point nine so these kind of values it can take okay so now let's see so we have changed the input which is a string now strings they take in a string Strings in Python are called str. Takes words or letters. Like this. Okay, so this is all of the ver uh, kinds that we are covering right now. Float, input, and then we need to say give one term okay now next t2 equals to float input input give another term consecutive to the last 
Okay, so now, as you can see, it will ask us a few questions and it will determine the answer based on them. So we say AS, give one term, say 10, 9. Now, it doesn't work. Of course it won't work because there is no calculation happening. We're just storing what we have written here in variables. Now we will make a variable called result. Result will, as its name suggests, take in the result equals to t2 minus t1. Okay, so t2 minus t1 equals to result, which is how we will find the difference of the arithmetic sequence right now. Now, give one term, nine, say ten. It doesn't do anything. Well, it has actually done something, but it hasn't printed it down yet. So we need to print, and then we need to say print result. However, we won't be putting it inside the AS, we'll be putting it outside the AS. Why? Is because if we put it inside the AS when we have to do GS, then if we have to do it, we'll have to put it inside another time so just to make the code a little bit less so you can put it behind now that we have done this let's check it as 10 11 1 as you can see which is obvious that 1 is the answer and it gave in decimal since it's a float however it can also sometimes give a whole value And now let's move on to our GS type. Now, GS is near the same as AS. So let's just copy all of this and paste it down here. Now, here you don't write else if like you do in JavaScript. You do elif, elif type equals to gs so int takes whole value float takes decimal and string takes letters so input gives out a string float changes the string with typecasting into decimal values and decimal or whole based on the answer given in the input and result does this however in gs we have to do t2 divided by t1 and we're done now right now you're thinking shouldn't it give an error if we run this because the same variables are being declared again well no it doesn't why because it only runs it once that's one thing and another thing is they're local variables so they're only this one is limited to this side and this one is limited to this side so they don't interact with each other global variables like type can be used anywhere in a program local variables are better if you have to do in in some cases you need to ask something in some cases you need to ask another thing okay now let's Try this out. AS uh, 20 um, 9 minus 11. Now, as you can see, the, the difference between AS will be minus 11. Now, let's try out something with GS. 2, 10, 5. Because 5 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 5 is 50, 50 times 5 is 250, and so on. So, this is how we calculate the difference through a Python program. This will help make things a lot faster when you have to do this. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye!